Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update and giveaway. Um, I'm going to start with the giveaway just because I like to announce it uh, right from the get-go. Um, to participate in this week's giveaway, you'll want to leave a comment on this video after it's played. Like if you're watching during the premiere, comments in the live chat don't count. But hey everybody, if you're watching this live and if you're not watching it live and you'd like to be, uh, be sure to sign up for our newsletter because we send out notifications and we also send out to our Craft Along Club members um, as soon as we get our shop updated, usually sometime on Sunday or in the wee hours of Monday morning. Um, we send an email to you guys first so that you can get first pick because, you know, y'all do so much for us. Well, all y'all do, but uh, I don't know. We wanted to give you some perks and stuff. Um, but last week's giveaway winner is... Angela Starnes Harris. Congratulations, Angela. If you could send us an email to backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com with um, where you would like for your uh, cab box to be shipped to. Sorry, there's some broken glass on the table. So <laughs> cleaning that up. Um, yeah, send us an email for where you would like for us to ship your cab box to, and we will get it mailed out to you just as soon as we can. So let's start by looking at, we've got a bunch of fused glass and a bunch of cabochons. We actually have a new gemstone cabochon for y'all this week. And then not pictured in this shop tour is a hot mess of moons, y'all. We have a bunch of resin moons left over from our last craft, super duper craft along-a-thon sale. Um, and they're all just $5 and they do still have the option on there to get them wire wrapped. So we won't be wrapping them live like how we were doing the craft along a thon, but, um, the, we can still, like, if you want one wire wrapped, we can wire wrap it up for you. So let us begin with some super pretty dichro. Also, if you hear construction noises in the background, that's the neighbors. Um, sounds like an egg beater. I have no idea what they're doing probably beaten eggs but mm. now on some of our dichro pieces there will be little floaties and that's normal it's gonna feel a little not rough so much as just I mean it is rough in comparison to the perfectly smooth glass but it is not at all like pokey or like sandpaper or anything like that it's just a slight difference in texture and I think it looks super pretty so that is something that if you find that in your pieces that's normal. We also have a new color this week that, I don't know, I kind of think it looks like storm clouds during dawn, like before the sun's peaked up and over, is what it reminds me of. What does this color remind you all of? Let me know in the comments. It also looks like, I don't know, like maybe Neptune or something, or a planet, like a gas giant. I don't know. Ah! And then more dichro. Ooh, I love it. Now this guy has a cool little like lens in the center of where the rest of the die crow floated, which I think is a really cool effect. And then we also have some really pretty ones, just in a nice like cornflower blue, I think is the name of the glass that we used. Now these are all 96 COE. Um, which, if you're using this in with your metal smithing or other fused glass pieces, that just um, that information will help you to Google to find out what kind of annealing schedule you need to do to keep the glass from cracking if you've heated it up. So, but other than that, it's completely not bothered by being baked with polymer clay. It's great for like cold closure metal smithing, like like not using um, precious metal clay. Like, you can, like, metalsmith a bezel and pop them in there. Wire wrapping, chain mail, all sort of beadwork, bead embroidery, even. Like, you can make beaded bezels or embroider this. Um, use with a macrame. And all of our fused glass tabs are suitable for having a groove added. Um, unless you click on it and there's not the little box that you can checkmark. Like, but none of them in the shop date, um have like holes in them or anything like that so all of them from this shop date it <clears throat> at least are suitable Ooh, and then here's another one with that kind of cloudy bluey purple love 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 it and then another one of those shimmer oh, absolutely love that sparkle in there 
and we do have more tutorials coming this week on Thursday and Sunday. We also have some pink caps. Love that kind of cloudy pink color. Another really pretty dichro. I like this little kind of polka dot thing going on here, but it's also a sparkly black in the background, which I find to be a lot of fun. Like a really nice touch, I think. Here's another, this one. Each one comes out just a little different. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I can hear me talking like, and it's, I've, <laughs> give me just a sec. I've got to close out of this. I pulled up the video to copy the link to put it into the random comment picture. And the video was just playing in the background. <laughs> And I was like, I think, I think I've done gone insane. <laughs> so these are more similar pieces. Oh, I love the die curl in that one. But I, want, I don't want to take up too much of y'all's day. So if you see something that's in these trays, but not on the website, it is likely that it has sold already. Um, so just something to be mindful of. And it's kind of a smaller shop update this week. Um... We pushed really heavy to get, like, our craft-along kits caught up. I really like these ones. That blue and purple. This is cornflower blue mixed with pale purple. And I love, like, even just the veining and stuff that's going through there. I kind of want to do this color scheme, but with a white backing. That way it really, like, pops. And a couple more. Ooh, I I'm, I'm in a little bit of a hurry to show you. I want to show you guys the other tray as well. But, and also, I want to thank all y'all who participated in our Super Duper Craft Alongathon of Wire Wrapping the Moons. That was so much fun getting to hang out with you guys. And I want to thank everybody here today who's watching or hanging out in the premiere or finding yourself shopping, even. Now, also, we do have some new half round wires uploaded to the shop as well. So if you guys are into some wire wrapping, wire wrapping, um, <laughs> then you can pop on over there and uh, maybe get your hands on some while we have it in stock. So now, here we have some more amethyst in the shop update tray. We also have some really pretty labradorites. Like, I think there were only two Labradorites in, like, this entire shop update that are not absolutely showstoppers. This is one of them. It still has that really beautiful kind of Labradorite green look. But you just have to look at this one kind of from the side to get it to come to life. And I feel like the camera's gone blurry. Yeah. So it's... But we try to be very representative in the pictures on our website of, I mean, if it's a tricky flash, then we try to let you know. I really like this one, though. Ooh, it's so pretty. Even the backside, I thought, was... Ah! Why is my computer not me? I'm haunted by past volume. <laughs> From last week's shop update. <laughs> We also have, ooh, some dummy thick teardrops. Let's see if we can get, oh, there it is. Which I think this one would just look amazing wrapped with the point down. Hey, pretty puppy. And then, ooh. I guess I could have looked at them in order, but I kind of, I don't know, got a touch of chaos today. There's that one. Oh, and this one. And it, I have no idea what item numbers these are, by the way. Ooh, pretty though. But yeah, we have a whole tray of these bad boys. And then I'm going to show y'all our newest gemstone type. Which we've also had a lot of requests for, like, smaller stones. Oh, no! Okay, well, not videoed here in the video today are, did you guess? Where did it go? This is not the correct tray. Um, 
<laughs> I'll grab it. But we have Amazonite. Ah, look at these cute little fellers. Oh, so pretty. But that is Russian Amazonite, and I'm really excited to share it with y'all because I cannot wait to see what you guys make with them. They're quite petite, um, not suitable for grooving just because um, the couple pieces that I've tried crumbled on me, and I don't want to risk losing any of them. Now, they are perfectly, I mean, like, they're perfectly durable to just wire wrap. I think maybe I just need um, a narrower bit blade or something. For grooving them. Ooh, that's a pretty lab. Let's see, I think this one's really, there we go. Yeah, from this way. Oh, so pretty. There's that one. We have some interesting shapes of Labradorite, kind of some abstract stuff going on in this week's shop update as well. Ooh, and then this one. Okay, but let me go grab, I'm gonna go, oh, and this one's really pretty too. There's a whole bunch of really pretty labs, y'all. Like, not to be tooting our own horn, but we picked good this week, I think. And I'm having a hard time letting these go. But I do want to see what y'all think with them. Oh, this one's another really good one. Wow, oh, I love that. I love, like, the, it reminds me of pictures of nebulas in space. Where, like, the gas clouds and stuff. It's a whole lot of fun. Ooh, and then this one as well. Okay, let me go grab the other tray to show y'all. Because that's where all of that really cool Amazonite is. Here we go. Oh. So we have some really pretty, like, I absolutely love that. And it even somehow has a little bit of a shimmer in it. You can kind of see that happening. This one's probably my favorite from the whole batch as far as the Amazonite goes. And then we also have super duper juicy <laughs> Labradorite. Like, that's intense, y'all. That's a non-stop flash. Check out these little guys, y'all. Look at that wee pretty fella. That pretty, beautiful, vibrant. Just vibrant. These are some of the most intense Amazonite that I've seen as well. Like, because usually whenever I get them as beads, they're like very pale robin eggs blue. Nah, and these would be so cute. And I don't know, uh, double check on the website too. Whenever you guys are shopping, I may ha do have done a test one and they may be groovable. Um, it's just the ones that I've done so far had like, they, they were kind of chipped and messed up anyway. So that might, they might've just been compromised, but I think... And if ever we're grooving a cab, like especially with our gemstones, I've never had any problems with our fused glass, but with our gemstones, sometimes we will get some chipping, sometimes we will have something break. Oftentimes we will um, send you that, even if it chips or breaks, we will send it to you, but we will also send you a free replacement cab uh, that's also been grooved to go with it. And if you guys, like, if we ever miss something or anything like that, please, please, please let us know. Because we can never know to make it right if you don't let us know that something went wrong. Now, some of the labs, some of the Labradorite cabochons and just any of them in general, if they're too thin or just using our judgment, we don't think it would be a good candidate for grooving. It's not going to have that option on there. Oh, I love the little strata going across this, but that it still has the flash. Like, mm, so nice. And there's that one as well. So, oh, and then this one, look at that little teardrop shape. I love that so much. Like a little off-center bloop. So this is 
this week's shop update. If you guys have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave them down below. I do love hearing from you guys. If you hung out with us during the premiere, hey, thank you so much for hanging out. And um, be, be sure to leave a comment um, below the video. Um, oh, it's okay, puppy. Um, that way you can put your name into next week's giveaway. And we will see y'all in our next tutorial. So until then, you guys, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>